Hey guys, this is Sam here with CustomPCReview.com here at Flash Memory Summit 2014. And uh, we're here at the LSI, uh, what is it now? LSI Seagate Avago? I don't know. Soon to be Seagate, sure. Okay, soon to be Seagate uh, <laughs> booth. And uh, uh, we got Kent Smith here who's going to talk about uh, some stuff on the SF3700 that we've been waiting for almost a year now. So go ahead. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, what we've got here is our, uh, our demonstration is showing uh, our PCIe and SATA as well controller. Uh, we've got it inside of a system, and our, our real focus at this particular show is showing how well we can manage both reads and writes when they're mixed. And so the, the real issue that uh, we've seen in some other solutions, when you just have reads or you just have writes, you know, these solutions work really good, but as soon as you try to do two things at once, it really plummets, uh, what we would call a, a bathtub curve. And so we, we've optimized our architecture to take advantage of that, uh, that read-write capability that we have within our architecture, and that's even something that we have in our currently shipping 2000 series family as well. Okay, all right, and it looks like on your demo here you're doing about uh, 1330 uh, megabytes a second. That's correct, And yeah. uh, that's a mixed workload that that's you're doing? That's a mixed workload. Okay. That's, that's actually 80% read and 20% write. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's actually a combination that we find pretty common mm -hmm. among a lot of uh, configurations. Okay, and uh, your maximum performance uh, when it comes to just 100% uh, just reads is, is still 1800 megabytes. 1800, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's actually the architectural limit. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, we've actually seen that number in the yeah. lab. Yeah. You know, when we, when we configure it, uh, in a certain way, we can see okay. that number, so we know it's possible. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're in the process of optimizing the code, so it's in that condition. You mm -hmm. know, whenever somebody hits 100% reads. Okay, and uh, over here, you guys have a chart kind of showing uh, at least some in-house testing. Sure. Uh, compared uh, compared to some other uh, drives that are on the market. So what's what what makes the uh, SF3700 special in this chart right here? It looks like you guys are way off the charts. Right, um, and if uh, if I could use the card here as yeah. my pointer, okay. uh, the the hundred percent writes you see here for the 3700, hundred percent reads on this side over here. The issue uh, that uh, other drives have is they can't maintain this speed, and so you see a lot of drives will dip down in performance as soon as you mix reads and writes together. They just plummet. And so that's something that our technology does not have a problem with. Mm -hmm. We can maintain both reads and writes, mm -hmm. uh, whether you're PCIe based, or even this is uh, this is the uh, recent Intel 2500, uh, 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 sorry, SSD yeah. with our controller in it. That's our yeah. 2200 controller. Yeah. But that's a SATA interface, and it's unidirectional. Mm -hmm. But still, our architecture shows it is possible to maintain that flat performance when you mix reads and writes together. Mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. Okay, and uh, uh, do you have any idea when your partners will start uh, begin shipping uh, drives with the new SF3700 controller? We expect the end of this year. Okay, all right. Is there anything you'd like to add or? No, I think, I think we covered uh, uh, the key points that I'm making at the show. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you and uh, catch us back for more uh, FMS 2014 coverage.